Hi guys, it's Ben here and I've just been back from Kiev for less than a couple of hours and already there's some transfer news to talk about so I'm going to get straight into it. Um, I'm well up for transfer season now, I'm up for getting right into this and I want the Reds to get so much done before the World Cup. And the latest one has kind of come out of nowhere uh, and it's Nabil, it's not Nabil Fakir at all, it's Fabinho, uh, the Monaco midfielder who isn't actually in the Brazil squad so... You know, he, he's available for negotiation straight away. He's got no other focus um, at the moment. So, you know, he's been in the, the Monaco side for a couple of years. Uh, well, one of the best players for the last couple of years. He's in that title winning squad from 2016-17. He was linked with Man United all of last summer. Didn't happen. Uh, and now, just a few minutes ago, or well, 45 minutes ago, Bertrand Latour from The Keep said... Fabinho should join Liverpool for 55 million euros plus bonuses. Uh, that is backed up by uh, Mohamed Bou... Buhafsi, excuse the pronunciation, from RMC Sport, um, and just translating his tweet, off, uh, offer of 50 million uh, euros bonus is included from Liverpool for the middle of the AS Monaco Fabinho, so the midfielder is saying, uh, negotiations between the two clubs, the players interested in the idea of joining the Premier League. This makes complete sense. I mean, it, it all see, it seems legit, you know. I mean, unless it's all Asian talk and they're trying to force a move for Fabinho, and you know, people know Liverpool got money in their pocket. People know we're after a midfielder. There's been the Jorginho rumours for a long time. Um, so this does make sense. He's a he's a number six. Uh, he he's got good numbers as well. He's so this season. Uh, in Liga, 34 appearances, seven goals, three assists. So good numbers from a number six. He does, you know, play defensively. A lot of those are penalties. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head how many of those are penalties. I haven't seen uh, enough of him this season. I don't really watch the French league, uh, but I, from from what I saw of him in their Champions League run, he's a very dominant player. He's a good imposing player. Um, yeah, a lot of those goals are penalties. So uh, yeah, we shouldn't let that skew uh, our thoughts too much. Uh, but his attributes, from what I've seen, he's six foot two. He's a big, commanding, commanding midfielder. Um, he's had a spell at Real Madrid on loan in his time. Um, I'm just kind of reading it now, just reacting to it instantly. He's a Brazilian international. He's not in the squad for the World Cup. But yeah, this is interesting. Uh, we know Emre Chan's going to leave um, the midfield the other night against Real Madrid. Didn't look. Uh, as, as good as it could have been, you know, and we just haven't had any options there. I don't think it's going to work out for Grujic. Um, Vinaldum, I think, will become more of a squad player. Um, so, yeah, we've still got Naby Keita coming in. James Milner's not getting any younger. So there are going to be some changes. We are going to have to be active in the transfer market this summer in various positions. And, the, you know, a goalkeeper's obviously going to be one of them now. You'd think um, the defence, we might leave or we might go for a... You know, uh, maybe a squad option there to replace Clavin perhaps. Um, but midfield is, is definitely where we need someone and an attacker as well. So Fakir, um, it looks positive at the moment. Fabinho would be a fantastic addition. Um, again, I haven't seen much of Monaco in the last year. I saw I saw a bit more of them the season before that. Um, but yeah, from, from an attribute and from a calibre standpoint, I mean, Fabinho seems like he fits the bill perfectly. And if we can get this one wrapped up quickly, uh, then perfect, and it's another player that's not in the World Cup, so that'd be perfect for getting pre-season. You know, start starting with a bang and hitting the ground running there, because we need we need to we need to be you know firing off all cylinders straight away next season. We cannot be falling behind like we did uh, in the campaign just gone, where we were out of it by September, October sort of time and losing games with regularity. So. Fabinho, the latest rumour, the latest saga is here. Um, you know, excuse me for kind of looking down at my screen. I'm just kind of seeing all the latest updates here. So, Mohamed Bouhafsi again is just he just tweeted it in English. Uh, they've made a 50 million bid plus bonuses. Negotiations are underway. Very good negotiations. Player very interested. This has literally been tweeted seconds ago. So, Mohamed Bouhafsi on Twitter is a guy worth following. He's from RMC Sport. Bertrand Latour as well. Um, he was the first one to have tweeted it. Um, Wow, I mean, this is this is exciting. I mean, we are not going to hang around. I'm sure. Um, you know, I'm not sure what this means for Jordan Henderson. He, he's obviously been the number six for a while. Does Jurgen Klopp think he's good enough to be the the anchor of that midfield? Um, this is all very interesting. We're gonna we. You know, we were supposed to spend big last summer, didn't quite happen. Uh, we, we, we went big on Van Dijk, which proved we are up for it, although that is kind of seen as an outlier rather than the, the new kind of uh, way we're going to do our business. But 55 million seems reasonable. Um, let's see what happens. But Fabinho is the latest rumour. Uh, six foot two, 24 years old, Brazilian uh, defensive midfielder. Um, someone's even gone on Wikipedia and put, he's a Liverpool player. There you go. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Do you think he's the midfielder we need? Is he a better option than Jorginho? Uh, would he vastly improve our title chances this season, next season if he was to come in? And would that mean Henderson loses his place in the side and as captain? Who knows? I, I thought Henderson had a good second half of the season. I don't think he's he's the immediate concern in terms of replacing him. We've got Navi Keita coming in. Uh, we've got Oxley chamberlain injured. So lots and lots going on in that midfield. Uh, and I'm very, very keen to see how this plays out. Fabinho... Offer looks like it's in, and Liverpool, mean business, I'm just checking. Another tweet here, Saber uh, Desfagres from RMC Sport, he says he's very close to joining Liverpool. So there we go, Fabinho, this looks, this looks a goer, this looks a goer. Let me know your thoughts, subscribe for all this sort of stuff, we're not hanging around, even though Kiev, I've only just been back a couple of hours, we're not hanging around, we are not hanging around at all. Liverpool mean business, I mean business all summer on this channel. Transfers, World Cup, everything. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time. And that video could be in a few hours if we put another bid in for someone else, so make sure you stay tuned.